Quid I? Hello everyone and welcome back to I Am My Reviews. Today I get to squash my football brain with my movie brain as we review the four-part docu-series We Are Newcastle United on Amazon Prime. Don't worry, I promise, well, I'll try to be fair as always. Starting with the positives. There was a real sense of pride and joy in this series and they really managed to tap into that community side of things. What this actually means to the fans and the joyous excitement of a new dawn and the gold that may await on horizons to come. When it's a club like Newcastle United who do have a real history and a massive fan base that are very passionate about the club who have suffered in the doldrums of finishing 15th at best for the last 20 years. You can't help but think Good on you. Enjoy it. I mean, you have to. I know I did when we smashed Barcelona 4-0. Now look at us. Off to bloody Toulouse in the Europa League. Anywho, it was actually quite nice to see the owners so involved for a change and why they liked Newcastle in the first place and what their future intentions are. They're even involved in the transfer side of things and I always love an inside scoop to a transfer dealing, learning the little nooks and crannies of what goes on behind closed doors. It's always interesting and I very much appreciated that about this documentary. But equally, I thought it was interesting to see other aspects of the football club like sealing sponsorships and how that works financially in regard to your success on the pitch, as well as how it affects financial fair play regulations. It might sound like dull paperwork, but they did a really good job of breaking it down for the layman, without getting too bogged down in it and becoming boring. It was a nice balance, and I feel like I learned something from it. We Are Newcastle United manages to tick all of the boxes required of an Amazon football docuseries. And sadly, that's kind of the problem, which does bring us to the negatives. It isn't doing anything we haven't seen done before. It's very much by the numbers and routine, which ultimately just takes any major investment out of it. There aren't that many twists and turns, and when there is, they're not very well explored. They just sort of move on, and I can't say I always felt the jeopardy that they suggest is present. And I think a lot of that comes down to the pacing and the runtime. I don't think four episodes was anywhere near long enough not to cover an entire season and a change of ownership, which in turn leaves the series feeling a little bit overly unfocused as it has to rush through what it is very clearly trying to explore. I also couldn't help but feel like this series came across as a little bit sanitized and safe, especially in the beginning. It does very much feel like the owners are only showing you what they want to show you and they're only saying what you want to hear. And of course that's going to be the case, but it just doesn't make for the most gripping television that I can buy into. Basically what I'm saying is, as someone on the outside, I'm not so easily fooled. But I am going to give We Are Newcastle United a 5 out of 10. It does what it says on the tin and it will scratch that behind the scenes itch that all of us football fans get. Those who are more attached to the club will probably take more from it, but I am personally a little bit disappointed by its length and lack of substance or even the ability to reinvent the wheel when it comes to a football docuseries. We'll keep our fingers crossed that they continue to evolve in the future. Thanks for watching this review. Please be sure to hit that like button and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and please do hit the comment section as well. Have you seen We Are Newcastle United? What did you think about it? Let me know in the comment section below. And of course, if you haven't had enough of this crazy ginger, well, you can always click on these suggested videos right here and get yourself lost in an IMO wormhole. But if not, take care, and I look forward to seeing you on the next review.